what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Kima Siverin worked his whole life to be a football player. His dream was to play in the pros. Kima spent years going to training camps, working out, studying hard to get to the NFL. Kima went undrafted, but somehow he fought his way onto the Seattle Seahawks squad. They picked him up. They gave him a chance. Not only did they give him a chance, but they stroked the check. He's in. And then Kima, as a rookie, made a rookie mistake. Perhaps the biggest mistake of his life. Kima threw it all away when he tried to sneak a woman into the NFL hotel bubble. Fam. The woman was dressed up in, Seah in Seahawk gear. She had her dressed up in Seahawk gear to try to disguise her as a player. I'm not going to rub it in, but damn, man. Come on, man. This is a cautionary tale for everybody else out there. Some people say, well, man, they didn't have to fire him, man. They could have they given him a, a warning. His warning was that he didn't get drafted. Man, when you, don't, when you go undrafted, that means you are the last man at the bottom of the barrel. You're at the lowest part of the totem pole. You cannot make any mistakes. That means that you are expendable. You can't do nothing. You can't be arguing with coaches. You can't get into a fight at, <laughs> in practice. You can't show up late. You can't be overweight. You can't miss no plays, man. You you got to be on your game. The man wasn't even in good enough. Season ain't even started. And he threw it all away. Man, I know his family is hurt. I know he's hurt. But see, when you make the NFL or any of these pro teams, it's not yet just you who suffer when things go wrong. Man. You make those proteins, man. You got an opportunity to actually turn your whole family's financial situation around. You can actually, if there's a situation where, like in most cases, with young men who end up in the, who play in the NFL, most of these young guys they come from the inner city. They come from hard living, financial struggle. And when they make the NFL, when they make one of those pro teams, man, just like that, the family fortune changes. Break that curse. Man, man, man. Now, this dude, he let his emotions get the best of him. A man that cannot control his sexual urges is a liability. You have to be able not just to control your sexual urges, but you have to control your emotions. All of that really is kind of tied in together. It's two things that a man must learn to do effectively. Or he's going to find himself in a world of trouble. 
It's two things that a man must be able to control. That is his penis and his emotions. Get that under control, man, you'd be unstoppable. But this dude, he couldn't control it. He had to sneak it in. I guess he thought he was still in college, high school. I'm going to sneak this chick in and I'm going to put the whole NFL at risk. I'm going to put my whole team at risk. I'm going to put everybody at risk for a little company. Come on, man. Oh, man. This is heartbreaking, man. This is heartbreaking. I know it's easy for everybody to just dismiss it and say, what a dummy, what a dummy. Yeah, he was, he was dumb. But man, it's still sad. And I'm actually hoping dude get another shot. I, I really do believe, well not believe, but I really do hope he gets another shot. You know, sometimes, man, people need more than one warning. Sometimes they need more than one chance. You know, sometimes people need two or three or four chances. Good people sometimes need more than one or two chances. It's not always three strikes and you got Life is not baseball. You dig? So, man. Well, I wish I didn't have to bring y'all this story. This is a really, really sad story. Dude spent most of his life training, aching, sweating, studying, hoping, dreaming to make it into the NFL and threw it all away over some butt. Got to be more careful. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?